What is going on everyone? Josh from Claws Fitness. Today I'm going to teach you how to properly perform the dumbbell bicep curl. To grow those biceps, I'm going to waste no time. Let's jump right into it. So first things first, it's weight selection. Start lighter. You don't need to be a hero. People that start really heavy are putting themselves in a bad position. Especially if you're learning, I really recommend you start supinated. So you're starting with the dumbbells in front of you open. The reason for this is some people really struggle with coming through with this motion. They won't engage as much as their bicep. They're going to kind of turn into a hammer curl with a late turn. So instead, just start open and really work on that contraction. Next up is your elbow positioning. We don't want to be behind us or it's not going to work. We don't want to be too in front of us. We're going to be bringing our shoulders, our back, and just really building bad habits. So instead, start strong. Elbows are a little bit in front of you. I've got my feet dug in the ground. I'm bracing my abs. And I'm going to curl up the dumbbell towards me. And what I'm going to do, and what I'm not going to do, is I'm going to envision I'm curling through that bicep. I'm not swinging up my elbows, I'm not using my shoulders, so we want to actually be able to contract those biceps first. As silly as it is, if you want to stand there at the computer and practice doing it, you can see the difference between me squeezing my bicep and me just flinging my arms. It's a big difference and you're going to want to use this in the movement. So I recommend starting open, curl up into your bicep, big squeeze, nice slow control down. So biceps in particular, you want to pay attention to that negative at least two seconds. Get a strong, powerful squeeze, squeeze that muscle, come down one, two, and we're back up. One, two. So this is just a really quick intro on how to do it. So now we're gonna break down some common mistakes, how to avoid them, and how to ensure you're doing this right. Before I show you my three common mistakes, I got a free gift for you down below, a full form guide filled with exercises, before and afters, all the common mistakes neatly listed. You can see it on the screen, no screens attached, just my gift to you. Pick that up, it's gonna help you in the gym, personal training in your pocket. But number one, as you could probably guess, is not utilizing full range of motion. So where a lot of people go wrong is you'll see half curls, People just kind of repping it out, you know, grabbing the heaviest weight they can, feeling good. Uh, this doesn't really have a place. In particular, the bicep is a small muscle. Burn it out, really push it, really engage it. You can get a lot of alternative work for the bicep, you know, obviously through stabilization of the deadlift, through chin ups, pull ups, different movements like that. But with curls in particular, I like a lighter weight. I really like to see a full range of motion. So, what that means is, first and foremost, that you're coming all the way up and squeezing. And secondly, and most importantly, that you're coming all the way down. But what you don't want to do is lock out that elbow. The second we lock out that elbow, we're putting a lot of tension on that joint. That's how you can cause a lot of pain, get tennis elbow, a lot of negative things. So, instead, you're curling up and we're coming and we're stopping just before we lose that tension on the bicep. So, here, tension is transferred from my bicep to my elbow joint. Once again, we don't want to try and strengthen joints. That's not how it works. We want to strengthen muscles. So I'm up, I'm stopping just below while I still have tension and coming back up. And this way we're safely engaging the muscle throughout the whole uh, movement and we're not engaging joints. So once again, it's going to look like me coming all the way up, big squeeze, coming just below just before I lock into those elbows. This is my safe space, coming up. Me coming to my elbows would look like this. I'm fully losing tension, I'm minimizing the movement. Keep that tension, big squeeze, come down with control, up, big squeeze. Keep that tension, rinse and repeat. Number two is something called hooking. Uh, so this is pretty common, especially when you do do the open arm curl. So when you're starting in a neutral grip and we're curling up. So for me, naturally your body's smart. It wants to do the most efficient thing. And in its mind, it's like my back's strong. I can hinge, I can bring my shoulder, and I can hook up. So hooking is best described when the elbow comes in front of you. You're bringing in some shoulder, you're bringing in some back, some momentum, maybe even the hips. And you're hooking up. We don't want that. Yes, you can lift heavier, but you really need to think like, is it good if you can curl 60s but you're doing it properly and your arms look like crap? No, you know, use the lighter weight, do it right. Learn how to really do it. This is a movement where you really want great hypertrophy, you want great contractions. So avoid hooking, keep that form tight, keep those elbows pinned and that will go into number three, which is if you need an aid, use an aid. So you can get whole like arm curl stabilization mechanisms. We'll put what they look like on the screen. I don't mess with that. I think the easiest thing you can do is Find a wall, put yourself up against it. This is gonna force me to not hook, to not swing my back. And you can see I actually look a little bit weaker and that's because I'm not able to have those natural supports of momentum with my body. And even better, just use an incline bench. Put yourself on an incline bench, sit back, curl it out. You're gonna feel great because of it. But that is how to curl pretty much from top to bottom. Try to mix in some higher level topics because that's what we're all about. You know, if you want the best training available on the internet, the best online coaches, look more into us. That'll be the second link in the description. We would love to help you out and help you go from good to great. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.